So in an earlier video, I made plastic cordage using a discarded plastic bottle, my knife, and my canvas repair needle out of my 10-piece kit. Now, as I stated in that video, there are better options than using your needle. Your needle's fragile, your needle plays an important role in your kit, and it's hard to replace in the wild. Uh, but when I filmed that video, my main focus was just using the 10-piece kit that I carry with me. So today I'm going to be showing an alternate method using a much more durable item, and that's going to be your Baco Laplander saw. So to get started making cordage, you know, I cut the cap off. Uh, this bottle has a step on both ends, so I cut it off just on the cap side of the step. So now I've got a nice straight piece up the bottle to work with. Alright, so this is just a limb off a downed tree. I made a quick cut, and I actually forgot to hit record, so... That's my bad. Uh, the only reason I made this cut is because I'm going to have to put my knife and saw into the solid part of the limb, not on this fresh break. And as I do that, the bottle's going to move down the stick and I'm going to actually bottom out on here. And I'm only going to get about a third of the bottle into cordage. So, enabled to use more of this bottle, I just went ahead and made a clean cut on the end of this limb. Alright, so with my Baco. I'm going to go down about three fingers and go ahead and make a cut into the limb. I'm probably about halfway down and I'm actually going to open the saw up. That kind of helps it grip a little bit. Now to utilize my saw instead of the needle, I'm going to have to use the back of the saw. So that's going to dictate the way that the uh, bottle itself turns. So if I was to spin the the bottle in this direction, I'm going to be hitting the back of the saw, which is exactly what I want. If I try to come in the forward direction like this, it's going to be continually catching the front edge of the teeth. So I have to pull the bottle away from me right now. Alright, so now that I know that, I'm going to be pulling the bottle away from me. The blade edge of my knife is going to have to be towards me. So I'm going to drive my knife into the um, limb here with the blade edge towards me. Now the distance between the knife and the saw is going to be the width of my cordage. I'll show you that in another minute here. Okay, so hopefully you can see here, this gap between the saw and my knife is going to be the width of the cordage. So, I'm going to get this started and pull it away from the camera. Alright, so I cut a little tail to get me started. And I'm just going to feed it through. And right now I've got contact with the saw. I'm pushing down on the bottle. So I was able to utilize all of the plastic bottles, so the, the body of the bottle itself became the cordage. This could still be a cup. You know, I could use this as a cup if I had the uh, cap for it. It could be used for a funnel. You know, tons of different uses for this. But uh, the main body of the bottle itself, you know, became uh, over six feet, maybe six and a half feet of cordage. And this is pretty good. This is you know, maybe three-eighths wide. It's fairly consistent. It all depends on the pressure you're putting on the bottle itself. So you can see once I established a pretty good groove that the cordage is pretty good. And, you know, I've got another video where I had a improvised tarp held up with a 
plastic bottle cordage for over a year and the cordage was completely fine when I took the tarp down. So, you know, don't haphazardly go cutting uh, bottles up, but if you've got plenty of containers and need cordage, you know, this is a quick way to do it. And sometimes the woods require you to, you know, be inventive with things. You know, I've showed you how to use your sail needle. Right there, we just used my pocket knife and my baco. If I didn't have my baco, I could have used my pocket knife and my main belt knife. If I didn't have the pocket knife, I could have switched the belt knife. So there's tons of variables. Just think of what you're trying to do, think about what you have with you, and think about how to improvise in that situation. This has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you next time.